Good morning, John Comerford. Welcome to AM Buffalo. So good to speak with you about all the wonderful work that you do with your firm, Lipsticks Ontario and Comerford. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Melanie, thank you for having me. We have spoken a lot about mesothelioma and the causes and how people are impacted. And one of the big causes of mesothelioma is cosmetic talc. And thanks to you, every time I do my makeup, I think, oh my goodness, once upon a time, this makeup that I'm putting on my face had the potential to kill me. It's very sad. The uh, cosmetic talc industry was acutely aware that their products contained asbestos and they never shared that information. And uh, when you are exposed to asbestos, you don't develop the disease the next day or the next hour. There's what the medical doctors call a latency. It usually takes anywhere between 15 and 40 years for this disease to show up. And what's even sadder about that is a lot of the companies that manufactured asbestos products, they knew all about latency and they took advantage of that latency because they were hopeful that they would, this would never sort of catch up to them. Well, it has caught up to them. And if you speak to any geologist, talc mines, and it depends on the region they're harvested from, are contaminated with asbestos. So you have sort of two broad categories of talc. You have industrial talc, and then you have cosmetic talcs, where baby powders and talcum powders are manufactured. And you, you have women professionals developing mesothelioma, and they're really confused. They said, well, I didn't work in a plant. How am I getting a disease that's only caused by asbestos? Well, when, when you interview them, we'll ask them about their use of cosmetic talcs, and we find out that some people were using baby powders and other products daily on a regular basis, and that explains how they develop mesothelioma. So we're working on cases involving some people as young as their late 30s, all the way up to people in their 60s and 70s and 80s with mesothelioma, and the primary cause was the cosmetic towel. And, and the more we dig down and, and look at this, it's really, really disturbing because so much information was in the possession of these corporations that had the power and the ability and the resources to look into this. And they look the other way, and so many people are becoming sick. You say you've got women as young as their early 30s who are coming to you with this problem. How would you know if you are impacted by the cosmetics that you were using? Well, it requires a detailed analysis. Not all talcs contain asbestos. It depends on the product, the years manufactured, because it really is almost an exercise in geology. You have to look at where the talc came from. We also have to do a detailed exposure evaluation to see if there are other exposures, exposures to industry, because we're still very, very busy representing tradespeople who worked at large plants like Bethlehem Steel, Republic Steel, plants throughout Niagara County, Hooker Chemical, for example, where asbestos was used almost all, up until about 1980. So if someone is diagnosed with mesothelioma, it is very time sensitive. We implore the um, people to call us. We know their health is first, and we know that's so important and we're never gonna interfere with their treatments or medical condition, but we need to meet immediately and start the process. So wonderful to have a firm such as yours here in Western New York, fighting the good fight, as I always say. Lovely to chat with you this morning, John Comerford. Thanks for your time. If people want to contact you, what's the best way to go about it? I would call our office here in Buffalo at 716-849-0701. We'll get to the house immediately. And uh, I think the best part of our job is spending time with what, what I say, the hardest working people in the United States. That's Buffalo, Niagara Falls, New York. So good to have a team like that. Lipsticks, Ponterio and Comerford fighting the good fight. And of course, you can give them a call if you have any queries and if you want to know anything more about fighting mesothelioma.